Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Dana August Nails. Welcome back to my channel and let's hop into the watch me work. So guys, I've already gone in and prepped the nails and we're going for a very nice tapered square. I would say a little bit around the medium, not so much short. Now this design you've actually seen already. Um, I did it on two nails of a complete set. I'll put the picture up here, but today we're just focusing on doing the sort of quartz marbling on all the nails this time around. So I've prepped with Mia Secret Dehydrator and Extra Bond, and I'm going in with Mia Secret Multi-Balance Natural as my clear coat in between pigmented acrylics and the nail. So I have used the same mix from that video. This is um, Mia Secret's Cake, and I've mixed it in with pink as well as multi-balance because what I noticed about those Mia Secret acrylics, yo, they match Aki Sun. So <laughs> if you mix them with a bit of clear, um, you'll be good to go. So I'm working with very wet, tiny beads and I'm basically striping them, like just swiping them across the nail in different ways, um, no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. And then I'm taking my secondary color, which is Angel Nude. And this is from the nude collection also super chalky also had to add pink into it to make it a little bit more smooth and again I'm following the same method and I'm just swiping it across the nail it's sometimes overlapping itself but definitely overlapping the first color that very soft pink that we put down um, again this is just the way that I create the quartz it's kind of like a marble but not really a marble um, yeah, I don't think there's a right or wrong way to do uh, marbling or quartz nails or no, I, I don't think there is one. Um, so yeah, I'm using my Model 1's number 8 Kalinsky brush, my tried and true, to do this set here. And I've gone ahead and I've cut up and added some, I want to say copper colored foil to acrylic some clear acrylic and I same mix that I made for the last video and I'm just adding that in little random areas um, it's gonna be more diagonal basically going in the one direction from right to left down the nail um, and parts of it break apart and I actually like that that happens so I just sort of let it do its thing and I do this on all of the nails of course um, I really wanted the previous client that got the you know the initial set to come in and do this but I was really glad that um, this client was just like yeah I want that but I want it on all the nails just from a post and ordinarily if I've done a look already I don't want to do it um, for the YouTube channel but I figured um, this was a clearer video I mean if you think so I thought it was a clearer like visually clearer video so that if you missed out on a couple of steps that I did on the last one you could and also I like recording because you can actually tell the difference between when I did that set and when I did this just the growth that happened in that short period of time so just you know never count yourself out you're always growing every single day and I think this was good proof of that you know from when I did the first set to doing the exact same thing but on a different person definitely grown there and so now I'm just using Mia Secrets multi balance natural to clear cap the nails you guys know I trust this for clear capping because it has little to no pigment at all and I will clear cap all of the nails and then I have put in a little bit of filing um, just because I don't often do that and you know you kind of want to I, I want to see how that's changed as well so I'm going to refine the shape going down the side walls filing actually from the underside and then bringing it up and then into the contouring motion um, and I do that on all both sides what I do on one side I do on the other and then I go at the cuticle area and I continue to contour then I switch my file and then I start going in a um, vertical motion up and down the nail and that's to just make sure that the surface of the nail is smooth and I'm really um, you know keen about going over those same steps back and forth going from reshaping to cuticle sorry reshaping to contouring to cuticle so and you know what I've got a bit of a routine going these days so I'm actually really really proud of it um, proud that I've been able to do that so while I have her nails in my hand like this I don't attack the free edge because I want to do the free edge when I flip her hand over and look at it from her perspective because to me that's the only time that you're actually gonna be able to get the nails straight uh, what I actually end up doing while I'm looking at it from her perspective is I do a bit of contouring on the nails still 
as you can see so yeah i see people filing their free edge while they're like looking at it from their perspective but i think you'll end up over filing the nil because once you flip it over you still got to go back and file it and then if you file the chunk away when you were looking at it from your angle you're gonna have some wonky nails so i just leave the free edge for when i'm looking at it from a perspective and guys it's top coating time i'm using my gershon's top coat i need to get better top coats i'm not even gonna lie but i'm using the gershon top coat and i do cure this for a full 60 seconds apply cuticle oil and take pictures and photos and that's the end of the video guys so if you haven't liked already please do consider subscribing leave me a comment share the video i'll leave the product list below and follow me on social media guys if you'd like to do something like that here is the video and picture of the finished look thank you for watching even if you watched the first initial one i appreciate you guys' support i love you so much i promise to see you guys in the next one bye